New to X2 and replacing layers from previous versions are take lanes. Takes can still be stacked on top of each other in a single track, but can also be expanded into take lanes for finer control and editing possibilities. It's helpful to keep several takes on the same track as the track processing will be identical for each take, and we then know that any differences are down to the material and not the track settings. To expand the track into lanes, click on the Take Lane button toward the bottom left of the track header. Any existing takes will break out into their own lanes which are indented slightly to show their association with the track. Once open, lanes can be resized by click-dragging on the lane divider, but not individually. On the same track they will all be the same height. There is a Select Take widget to the left of the track name area which selects the take lane contents and its parent track. Next to that is the take lane name which defaults to T plus a digit, but can be renamed to something more suitable. Just double-click in the Name field to type a more meaningful name. Each take can be muted or soloed using the buttons in the lane, but clicking on a Lane Solo button will automatically mute the other lanes. An individual lane can be chosen to record into by using the Record button. Note that any existing material in the lane will be overwritten regardless of the record option set in Preferences. It is possible to set up Auto Punch within a loop and each pass will create an additional lane. That is done by arming the track for recording. Mute the previous takes by setting that option in the recording preferences. To record the punch into a specific lane, arm the lane, but that will overwrite the existing material in the punch-in region. There is a text entry area in each lane, allowing a user to keep notes about the take, perhaps the guitar type and amp settings used, for example. Double-click to allow text entry. Each lane also has its own edit filter. The choices will vary depending on the track type. On an audio track it is possible to select from clips, audio transients, and clip automation. Each take can be set to a different type. On a MIDI track, the choices are clips, notes for the inline piano roll view, and clip automation. Clicking on the plus icon will add a take lane, while clicking on the X icon will delete not only the take lane but also the data within that lane. Click and drag on lanes to reorder them, perhaps moving the better takes to the top of the lane order, for example. Take lanes make comping tracks quite easy. Just switch to the Mute tool and use the Isolate tool to isolate the takes you want to keep. It's possible to comp multiple takes of instruments, such as live drums, across multiple tracks as long as the clips have been organized into clip groups. Editing one clip in the group will affect all others. There is an option to create clip groups automatically at the recording time in the recording preferences. Once editing has been finished, close the take lanes to move back to a single track which will save screen space.